Morning guys. Uh, big storm last night, still raining now. Just went down to the fence pond to feed the geese. Only saw three instead of four. The other one, I can see half of it. It's half inside another bloody great big python. So I'm just gonna go and get my python tickling stick and uh, we'll see what we can do. But the, the goose is obviously dead. So, uh, right, where's my stick? Right, so I've got my tickling stick. Oh dear me, <coughs> the joys of keeping poultry, eh? Never mind. The thing is, we've got one, one goose, she's a little bit under the weather and the last few days she's picked up a little bit. You would have thought if it was going to get one of them, it would get that one, but no. It doesn't look quite as big as the three metre one, but then again it hasn't got the goose all the way inside it, so it's got to be quite a, quite a big animal to... Uh, or reptile to take a goose down. Bloody hell, lightning strikes twice, eh? Let's see what we can do. Uh, it looks like it's pad capel goose for me today. Unfortunately, Toon doesn't eat goose. Uh, we really keep geese for, as security for the, for the fish pond, but Toon and I came and had a look yesterday when we came to, no, day before yesterday, came and have a check on the, this poorly goose. And I did spot a big branch that had snapped off quite high up in a tree. So I think that was it. Right then, I'm going to stick this on my head and get in there. It's still raining. All right. I do believe it's still there. There she is. I know there's a fair few of you that are snake lovers out there, but there's a lot of people that are goose lovers as well. And here you can see it broke just broken her in the middle there. And uh, it was, well, I don't know if it's a he or she, but it had uh, swallowed her down to about there. So I didn't have too much uh, problem trying to persuade it to, to let go. So uh, the, the snake's been relocated. And uh, that's a bloody expensive dinner, fuck's sake. But anyway, part of farm life. And uh, it's one less bloody predator around here that can take on a on a kid goat, I suppose, or even a, an adolescent goat. These are bloody huge predators. Right, I'm getting bitten to death by mozzies. So uh, I'm gonna get her back to the house. We just got back to the house. Uh, Two's just going to get the, the charcoal on the go and uh, she's going to clean up the goose. Uh, we've just had a quick look at it so I'll show you in a minute but she's pretty bust up and um, yeah luckily it was only swallowed down to her sort of like her, her shoulders so uh, not a nice um, nice morning really. We were happy when we first woke up and it was still raining. The, the, the lake's basically just about full. Went to feed the geese like I said and uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that after us getting one that was just touching over three metres before. Uh, this bad boy or bad girl was um, just shy of two and a half metres. Uh, but it was definitely easy going to swallow her, no problem. So uh, please, please don't ask in the comments um, what we did with the snake. What we say is we've relocated it. Um, you get a lot of hate with this sort of thing. And um, some people are even happy when a, a snake claims our poultry. I don't get that myself, but... Um, whatever so we're just part and parcel of being on the farm out in here in Thailand and uh, big snakes and monitor lizards anyway like I said it's uh, it's nice to get a big predator off our land and um, hopefully keep the young goats a little bit safer as well we have been uh, letting the numbers of our poultry reduce somewhat just so we can concentrate more on the goat so as the poultry numbers reduce so potentially this sort of thing could could move along, progress, uh, and, and endanger the goat herd. So uh, we have to sort it out, and uh, we are doing. So here she is anyway, it's a bit of a sad sad sight, but she won't be wasted. Um, 
it's hard to tell whether it's she's her neck doesn't seem broken uh, probably just strangled but she's bust up she's bust up round here and uh, the snake was coiled coiled around there and uh, swallowed up to about there so you can see round here oh dear me bloody sad great tasting she won't be wasted but these are expensive birds and uh, I know some people have inquired in the past and you've been shocked to find out what what we bought ours for and uh, yeah um, when this sort of app this sort of thing happens you can you can understand understand why bless her anyway I know some of you guys that uh, follow our channel you, you you the majority of you aren't abusive and you you know you're sad to see anything um, untoward happen to snakes but as I said there's a there's a probably just as many I don't know probably maybe even more people that like poultry and certainly geese they're they're lovely birds to keep around full of character and lovely temperament and uh, yeah it's a it's a sad day but we go on we go on right miss has got some plucking to do ta for now guys